All right, welcome back to another edition of Extendly's High Level Tech Training. My name is Joel Ketty. And in today's training, we're gonna go over membership sites. And today we're just gonna talk about the uh, kind of an initial overview and getting your membership site set up. And then we're gonna have further trainings. As you can see, this is a part one. We'll have multiple trainings on memberships because um, there's quite a bit to them. So what we're gonna go over today is what is a membership site? What are some different use cases for memberships? And then we'll get into actually how to set up your membership site, adding your branding, creating a custom domain, setting up your membership emails, and then we'll talk about the difference between products and offers within a membership. So if you don't know what any of that means, that's okay. We've got you covered. So let's get started. All right, so I am inside my demo account for high level here. And first of all, before we get into more of the details of setting it up, what exactly is a membership site and what are they for? So a membership site is essentially an online training portal. So you can create online trainings or courses to give to your SaaS users who've signed up to use your white labeled high level, or you can sell online courses. Your SaaS clients can also have access to memberships if you're providing that as part of your SaaS offering where they can create courses to sell online. So think of it as a platform similar to a Kajabi or Teachable or something like that. Essentially, it's just a place to house an online training and give people access to that training. So what are some different use cases for membership sites? So I think one of the really popular ones for high-level agencies especially is to create a training for their high-level platform, for their white-labeled version of high-level. So a lot of agencies will actually create trainings on how to use their platform, and then maybe they have specific trainings for their particular niche, and they can create those videos, upload them into their own high-level membership area, and provide their clients access to that training. Your clients also can create any kind of online course imaginable. So if that is something that fits within their niche, you can absolutely have membership access for them that they can create their own trainings and either give them away for free or they can sell their own online courses. So let's get into actually setting up your membership. So where do you go inside high level? So once you've logged in, you'll just go down to sites, and then across the top, you'll go to memberships. This is the membership dashboard, which just kind of gives you an overview of how many opt-ins, how many members, how many sales, and how many checkouts you've had in the last 30 days. From here to start setting up, you'll just hover over the memberships and go down to settings. So we're gonna start in the site details. So keep in mind, each sub account within high level has one membership site available to them. Now you can create multiple products and multiple offers within that one membership site. All of your details for your membership site, your login page, your domain, all of that stuff, you get one per sub account. So I've already kind of got one started here. So I've just got this and we've gone through some of the setup here. So you just go through and set it up here, put in a title for your site. Uh, you can create a subdomain that is housed at just the memberships.msgsndr.com domain. So you don't have to have your own custom domain, but you can. Um, this is where your account will go if you don't have a custom domain set up. Here's where you can put in a support email and a support phone number. So that is something that will be accessible to users who have logged into the membership. And it's just a way for them to get in touch with you should they need support with the membership portal. Below that, we have something called the magic links. So this has to be generated when you first start a new membership site. So these are not going to be here. I've already got them generated. So you'll just click the button to generate them. And you'll see that there's two different links. There's one for a user and there's one for a learner. So what is the difference between the two? If you look at the link itself, you'll see that there's actually a URL parameter here for the email address. And it says user.email. And this one down here says contact.email. So user.email, user is somebody who actually has a login for a high-level sub-account. So this is one that you would use as a high-level agency uh, who want to give access to a training to users who are in your account, whether that's your own staff or whether that is your clients. So uh, one use case for this would be setting up, again, a 
uh, training area for your SaaS clients to walk them how to use the platform and anything that you know is helpful for them in using high level as a SaaS for running their business. And then you would take this link and you would create a custom menu link that goes over here. And then all they have to do is you have that appear inside their sub account. They log in, they click that link, and you can have the membership area iframe right inside of their account. And they don't have to log in to that area. It will automatically log them in. The wonderful thing about that is that technically their login access to the membership is separate from their login access to high level itself. And so this allows you to avoid them having to double log in. So that would be how you would use that. The learner one, you'll see it's contact.email. So that is for anybody who is a contact within a high level sub account, but not necessarily a user who has a login. So hopefully that makes sense the, between the difference between a user and a contact. So a contact would be anybody in the account, it could be a lead, it could be a prospect, and you're, you're able to send them an email or a, an SMS with a link to the magic link, and all they have to do is click that and they'll be able to log in without a username and password. You'll see here it says regenerate magic link. So you can actually regenerate the link. And when you do, these links become broken. So just keep that in mind. If you have those links anywhere, you'll have to replace them with the new ones. Underneath that, we have an advanced section and you'll see we have custom JS, custom CSS, and then tracking codes, header and footer. So that is where you would place any of that kind of code that you need. Next is branding. So here is where you're gonna create a logo and a favicon for the entire membership site. So you'll see there's recommended dimensions here, 640 by 640 and 32 by 32. So this is not tied to the high level media library like a lot of the other areas are. So you do have to upload these separately. You can't just import them from your existing media library. So in order to do that, just click where it says select image, upload file, and it'll open up a window for you to upload from your computer. So just do that for your logo and your favicon, and you'll have that, brand, that branding added to your account. And then down below that, you'll see there's one more thing here called builder settings. So this allows users either to, and down below that, you'll see there's something called builder settings and you've got a toggle here. By default, this is actually turned on. And what it does is allows users logged in to the training to download the videos. So if you want them to be downloadable, you can absolutely do that. If not, I would come in here and toggle this off so that nobody's able to download your content. Once you've got this all set up, simply just hit save and it will update all of your settings. Next, we're going to go back to settings and over to custom domains. So this is pretty simple. Um, if you've ever done anything with domains and high level, um, just follow the instructions on the screen here. So if you have, uh, if you want to create a subdomain with your SaaS domain, uh, you can go ahead and do that and just make sure to follow the instructions here. You're going to either point an A record to this IP address or a C name record to this here preview.memberships.msgsndr.com. So once you've got that record set up in your DNS records of your domain, you just come in here, plug your domain in here, hit save, and you now have a custom domain for your membership area. So if you go to that domain, it will take you to the login page for your membership. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and start setting up your emails. So let's talk about these different options here for emails for memberships. So by default, all three of these will be toggled on. Let's go through what each of these different options are. The welcome email is when somebody is a brand new sign up to this membership area. When they first sign up, they need an email that gives them their login information. Now you are able to provide them with that magic link so they can kind of bypass logging in. However, that welcome email will give them that initial username and password. So there's a default welcome template that you can just leave turned on if you'd like and it's toggled on and selected here. If you want a little bit more control over that, if you want to add branding to that email, you can use the marketing uh, and emails section of High Level to create your own custom emails, and then come in here and select your own template to use as that welcome email. So if you'd like to have a little bit more control over the emails, you can actually toggle this off and use workflows to send that welcome email. So how would you do that? We'll walk through it really quickly. So you just create a new workflow. The workflow trigger 
is going to be membership new sign up. And you can control uh, for a specific offer if you'd like, or you can just have it that this is the email for any membership signups. So we're going to save that trigger. And then you would next send an email. Now, if you want to do other things like tagging and other things like that, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but in this case, we're just going to show you how to do a basic membership signup email. So let's say we have this. This is our email. And we're going to save that. And that is the basics of setting that up. So this can only be triggered one time per new signup. And so this is going to send them their login credentials, their username and password. And those are actually going to be If you look at the custom values, you'll see that there is membership contact email and membership contact password. So you wanna, if you're setting up a custom email, you wanna make sure you actually have those custom values in that email so they get their email and password. If that is not set up and they have signed up, there's no way for them to get a new email with their login without just simply going to the login page and, and clicking on forget password and then resetting it. This can only be sent one time per new signup. So just keep that in mind. And the same goes for the default uh, welcome template here. It will get sent out automatically every time there's a new signup. So you can leave that turned on. You can leave the default one or you can customize something yourself. The drip emails, you do have the ability to set up a drip within your memberships. And what that means is you can drip content out over time. If you want certain videos to only be available after a certain amount of time, let's say you want to walk somebody through a seven day training and you want them to actually only do one training per day, you can give them access to the first training immediately and then have them have to wait 24 hours between getting the new trainings. When that new training becomes available, this will send them an email. And again, you can use a default drip template or you can go ahead and create your own templates. This one is not available in workflows. So just keep that in mind. If you want them to get emails, make sure you leave this one turned on. And then last, we have the send offer access email. So this is gonna be a little bit different than the send welcome email. This is again for somebody who's signing up as a brand new member to that membership site. An offer is when they get access to an offer within that membership site. And we'll go over offers a little bit later in, in, in more detail in a, a future video. But for now, um, let's just say that an offer is essentially a bundle of products within your membership. And whenever somebody gets access to a new offer, and you can have multiple offers within that membership, when they get access to a new offer, they get an email for that. And it just let, basically lets them know, hey, you have new training available in your library. And this one can be done through workflows. And you can uh, leave it again as default here, create a custom template, or you can turn it off and use a workflow and in the workflows it would be offer offer access granted is your trigger and then again you would send an email and set your own template here and you can uh, again go down to a sp picking a specific offer um, so you can have more customized emails when they get this offer they get this email or if they get this offer they get this email so you have a little bit more control and, uh, over what the messaging is coming out. All right, so that is pretty much it for the emails. Now let's talk about one last thing in the settings, the app settings. This is a fairly new feature. This came out just in the fall of 2022. And what this allows you to do is have a PWA or progressive web app. And so what you can do is have your users of the membership actually download an app to their phone, and now they will have a very mobile-friendly access to your membership area. So you can just give it a name and description here. You can upload the uh, icon you want for the app here. And then you've got a little bit of customization with, as far as colors. You'll see there's a preview here of what the app essentially looks like. It's very, uh, very nice mobile-friendly uh, training area. And then you can just kind of pick a color that matches your branding. And then once you've got your settings set up, you save, make sure to toggle on, enable PWA. And when somebody goes to your membership domain on their phone, it's gonna prompt them to then save it to their phone. And now they'll have a custom app on their phone that can access the training in a mobile friendly fashion uh, from any mobile device. All right, so that covers kind of that initial setup. 
lastly, and we're gonna get into this in more detail of how to create products, how to create offers in future videos, um, but I wanted to cover just the basics of the difference between a product and an offer. So if you cover over here, again, you'll see products and offers. So products, let's pop over there. So get started by creating a new product. So we'll get into actually how um, to do this in more detail in the next session. Um, but essentially what a product is, is, a, is the product is the course itself that you're creating. So a product is where you're going to house your content, where you're going to upload your videos, you're going to provide any downloads, any you know assets that go along with your course. And that can be broken down into different categories and so on. Um, what an offer is, so your content is held in a product and your products are held within an offer. So that's kind of a, the offer is kind of where you're gonna bundle your products together to give them to people or to sell them. So within an offer, you can have a single product or you can have multiple products. So if you wanted to say, sell your courses individually, you could create an offer for each individual course. But then if you wanted to sell them as a bundle, say for a discount, you could create a bundled discount offer that has multiple courses housed within it. So hopefully that all makes sense. And uh, that's going to be it for today. So if you're wanting to build a membership site, go ahead and dive in and start getting that stuff set up, add your branding, add your site details, you know, figure out how your emails are going to work. And then in the next video, we're going to go a little bit more in depth into creating your first product. So we'll see you in the next session. Want to learn Go High Level in a structured format? Check out the GHLacademy.com by Extendly. We guarantee to save you six months of wasted subscription costs for high level. Just visit the GHLacademy.com.